guys, come here, come here, closer, closer. Right, back up, not that close. It's time to start the rap line. Let's go. Hello wonderful humans of the internet, how are we? My name is Sam Scott Thorne and I'm a vocal coach based in Glasgow. Now if you'd like to meet and explore your voice a little more, you can find me on sstvocals.com. You can also find me on Patreon and various other social media platforms and I'll put the handles down below and over there, up there. Yeah, up there, over there. I ain't changing it, it's over there. Now if you'd like to consider becoming a patron, you have access to things like early release of reactions, you can fast track reactions, become a reaction, there's special roles on my Discord server, and you have access to all sorts of bonus content like my Vocal Anatomy 101 series where we talk about how the voice works, so consider becoming a patron and help shape my channel. I'm also going to turn it into more of like a hangout space, um, where we can actually all like do live streams together and stuff, that will be coming, and um, because I have lots of plans, and I want you all to be involved in them so yeah consider becoming a patron okay so i was bullied thoroughly in the last uh, bts vocal line video i did because i did request the bullying um i said if you bully me hard enough we will go and start on the rap line and here we are now i was considering putting it up to a poll to see who we were doing first and what song but then i got this comment right and it said the magic words ryuichi Sakamoto. If you don't know who that is, he is basically my bedtime angel. That sounded wrong, but I'm sticking to it. My bedtime angel. He creates the most beautiful music. It's so serene. It's so well spaced out. It's very relaxing. He also has some other stuff that's a wee bit more experimental, um, which is not so sleepy angel, but Anyway, I digress. Anyway, he's an absolute legend, and I was told in the comments that Sugar did a song with Ryuichi Sakamoto, and then a guy called Wu Sung. And I was like, right, okay, well that's happening. That that is stamped approved. Let's do it. One thing though, he is not called Sugar in this. He's called Agus D. So, does he know? that I struggle to remember anyone's names, like even my own child, I get her name wrong. But he's going around with at least three names. I don't know how I feel about that. But if I call him Sugar or, or August D, um, we're talking about the same person. You know that. Anyway, we're just going to go and take a listen and see what we think. Oh, the song is called Snooze as well. Um, oh, that fits into the sleepy bedtime angel. I swear that wasn't on purpose. Right, anyway, let's go. Ooh. Okay, right, so first of all, the the start is just like bang we're straight in i love that let's not waste any time with an intro now this feels very mature there is a dropped sound to the larynx so you've got here it's kind of sitting around about that tonal quality which is just a little bit lower than like your natural speech would be essentially it's like if you're trying to turn your own voice into like a podcast voice so rather than welcome to the show it's welcome to the show See how much more like silky and commanding that sound is? And he's mixing a little bit of aspirate quality through that lower larynx, so a little bit airier. Da -da 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 -da. Like that. It is absolutely gorgeous. Side note, but there's a definite like maturity that's coming from all of their recent work. Like they're kind of moving into this like man stage. Rather than that like young kind of bubblegum pop energy that they kind of had before. I don't know if bubblegum pop's the right way to put it, but like, you know, like packaged pop. Anyway, fantastic start. Now, that was a little bit brighter, so I feel like it was the pitch that was going up rather than the larynx height. 
da 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 He still had a little bit of that pull. I'm not entirely sure. Ba -ba -da -ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba I think it was pitch. I could be wrong and that was the same pitch, but I feel like it was like slightly higher, but the same depth of tone from the larynx. His breath work is exquisite. I think I said this in one of the videos before, but he uses breath like it's part of the vocal. So you'll be like, <gasps> and he'll take really short, sharp breaths to like accent sounds. All in all, it's just a very smooth experience as well. It just feels like it flows absolutely beautifully. And the Ryuichi Sakamoto um, melody in the background is, oh, top tier. Okay, so this is Wu Sung, I'm assuming. That is a gorgeous voice. That's almost like raspy in its tonal quality. It's like he's pushing air almost to the point of it feeling like labored, but it's not a labored sound. So you get that really lovely kind of cry off the phrase. It's just, mm, love it. Mm. It's also quite high in pitch where he's hitting all these sounds and not going into his head voice but he's not like belting it either. So he's getting this soft kind of turn through it. And I think that's from this kind of airy push through the folds and just creating this like, like heavily textured sound. It's lovely. <laughs> Now, his actual tonal quality is now coming up, so the larynx is starting to shift into this brighter place, and you can hear the difference in the character of the sound. At Wu Sung as well, he actually went up into his head voice in that second part there. He was adding little cries a la Jimin, that kind of turn on the ends of phrases. And you get that kind of, ah, uh, kind of crying sound on the ends. Absolutely beautiful. He also had quite a twangy push into that almost belty mixy sound. He's a really good singer. Tell me about Wu Sung in the comments because I have zero clue. <laughs> Now this kind of sounds a little bit like we're recording lines like separately and then layering them on top of each other because I can hear in breaths when we're getting the next line. This is a music video so I don't know the recording process um, but that's kind of what I can hear because I can't just enjoy something I have to try and dissect it. But the reason that thought kind of entered my head in the first place was because he can do rap lines for a very very long time on a singular breath. I was almost waiting like when is he gonna breathe? And then you can hear the <gasps> as the other line's already starting. So I feel like that's what's happening here. What that would do in a live setting, I don't know. I'm assuming you could just add in little shorter, sharper breaths elsewhere. But the actual like rhythmic pattern of his raps are really fast. They're really precise. And yeah, I'm just, I'm very impressed. I feel like he does use this larynx height to really push into these different areas as well. You heard a marked shift from one uh, vocal line into the next. It was like a woof, like an actual drive up into this brighter, more forward space. He's just really, really good. There's a finite control that he has over his rap tone that feels very uh, singer-like. There's a definite kind of choice mechanism that he's using to kind of switch from one into the other. It's very good. Oh. 
I also really like the lyrics of this as well. He's kind of basically saying like karma is gonna come and get you. <laughs> He's like, don't don't be slagging people off, because that'll be you someday. You know, you'll be you'll become the thing that you despised. It's very profound. He just has a lot to say on a deeper level than you know partying or whatnot. I like it. This like offset here of that airy aspirate sound. Uh, uh, uh. It's just very, very, that sounded probably a little bit too personal that close to the mic. So I'm sorry. <laughs> but yeah, the, the way that a phrase is finished can really make or break a vocal. And he clearly has much of his focus on his offsets. So what you get is this kind of tail off. It's a very wispy kind of energy. You can do that on your onsets as well. So you could have that uh, and start that way. But the fact he's finishing that way makes it feel like almost like you're sending your message out into the air and it's just kind of going and dispersing. That's what it looks like in my head anyway. <laughs> And that intense twangy sound there really cuts through. So you have this lovely soft kind of energy with these little kind of turning cries. And then that really sharp sound kind of cuts through it all. It's very cleverly placed, this whole chorus. Kind of takes into account everything. Really good. <laughs> Everything will be okay. He really needs you to know that. <laughs> All kind of giggling aside, it's interesting how much of a variation you can get off of saying the same phrase over and over and over again in a rap. So you're getting... And it's kind of like turning. It's almost like he's getting every variation of spoken word out and then the message is is he telling you everything's going to be okay or is he trying to convince himself that everything's going to be okay and that's the beauty of vocal delivery you can have your own opinion on that <laughs> I was so distracted reading the lyrics. He's meeting Ryuichi Sakamoto and look, he's like, he's as revered to him as he is to me. I, sugar's gone up in my estimations. Like, skyrocketed. I said just like being in the presence of an actual god. If you don't listen to Ryuichi Sakamoto, just take some time. Go find a nice book, sit down in a dimly lit room, and play some Ryuichi Sakamoto. Merry Christmas, Mr. Lawrence. Good start. Anyway. <laughs> This chorus, again, I'm, he, every time I hear it, I hear a little bit of something different. So there's like a push in this airy sound that when he comes down through his range, he kind of lets it go, uh, uh, it kind of like wobbles on that airy H sound. It's almost like he's letting go of the tone, like almost like the pitch is like this close to disappearing altogether. It gives a feeling of vulnerability. It's just gorgeous. 
당신의 도대에 항상 내가 있으니 너무 걱정은 말아 추락이 두렵다면 기꺼이 받아줄게 그러니 나처럼 괴로워하지 말아 Get, now here we're getting into more of an aggressive forward place rap. The sibilants, the s sounds are really, really strong. The breaths are even more present. They're really sharp and they take up a lot of space in the phrasing. And he's just really attacking all of the phrasing. Like he is grabbing these words and making sure that it's completely fully formed. You know, sometimes you get a bit of lazy diction off of rap and singing. Um, but in here, he's really making sure that every single word is just delivered in its own right. Beautiful job. Dream. <laughs> Oh, don't do that to me. Jeez. Oh. Rest in peace, Ryuichi Sakamoto. Um. Damn. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that at the end. Anyway, um, <laughs> give me a sec, Jesus. Anyway, that was fun, uh, apart from that bit hitting me like a bulldozer at the end. I don't know why, I mean, I knew he'd passed away. Um, I don't know why that did that to me, but anyway, that was a lovely, lovely tribute to him at the end of that music video. And what a cool song, it was great. I really enjoyed that. So apart from, you know, me just losing my faculties for a second there um let's go and check out the rest so who have we got next we've got rm or um j-hope is that right it's three of them yeah so let me know i'll put up a post for each of them and you can tell me which rap i should go and check out um try not to have it one that makes me cry <laughs> anyway if you like that reaction please give it a like and a thumbs up down below and if you want to see more from me hit subscribe ring the bell and anytime i have new content you'll be the first to know so i guess all that's left for me to say is thank you so much for joining me and um no outro today just go and listen to ryuichi sakamoto you will not regret it i love you